Stay focused. Get focused. Hit the mitt. Man, hit Boom. the mitt. I'm 4TV. I am your host, Bill from the BX. Today I'm here with a special guest, my man, Valdusta's very own, a leader, author, and CEO of Leading with Excellence. Tell him your name, champ. Yo, what's going on? I'm David Sanders Sr. Like he said, founder of Leading Young Leaders and Leading with Excellence. Hey, how you been, fam? Man, I've been all right, bro. It's been a minute, man. How have you? How are you? I'm good, man. Just out here being old. I'm out here being old. Happy Veterans Day. Hey, yo, fam, as a, as a good guy, an NCO, a leader, with a bunch of kids, how long does a bottle of juice last in your refrigerator? Yo, juice not making it in my house, bro. <laughs> like you said, I got six, man. They're going to drink that in the car. <laughs> <laughs> they got the Tropicana orange with the pineapple. Fact. How long does it last? Favorite guy, yeah. About 15 man, minutes? Nah, I mean, break? dinner time, yeah. Dinner time? About, that's about, just, about, yeah. About that's one time. meal. It's, it's gone. Yeah, a whole Man. gallon gone. Damn. A whole gallon of juice. And, and after the pandemic, a gallon of juice like $8. So you got money. Facts, man. <laughs> Yo, running, running pockets. You hear me? <laughs> I'm glad you can have you can make time to um, come chill with us here at Op4 TV. Op4 TV, we have a place where veterans man. can have their voices. You know what I'm saying? I want veterans to come on here and be able to speak about whatever they want to talk about, share your thoughts and feelings about whatever's going on in your world, whatever's going on in your life. And just, you know, chill out. So tell us more about, um, you have an interesting diagram. It's on the screen now. Boom. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. So what we call this at uh, Leader with Excellence is the use matrix. Okay. And um, ideally, the concept behind it is to show you your worth or value in relationships. Right? I feel like this is excellent for someone new in the military. They're trying to know and understand you know, where they feeling their ways out and find out where they want to be. Uh, maybe a young NCO trying to feel their way out in this in this military world and trying to find out where they want to be. Um, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Tell us more about the, uh, I noticed the color scheme. So tell us why that, why did you choose that color scheme? Yeah, so that's a little bit new, right? So um, I actually created this while I was in a course for the military called Game Changer Training. Okay. And what the army has been trying to do is like understand this, this new word inclusion, mm -hmm. right? So we've been talking about diversity forever okay. and diversity is really just having all the ingredients at the table. So bringing all different demographics, races, genders, you know, sexual orientations, religions, bringing it to the table, but inclusion is really giving everybody a voice. So all the leaders are trying to understand like, what is inclusion? What is inclusion? And the color scheme is really just me just like trying to bring some kind of appeal. But what's really important is like the four quadrants you see there. Okay. The top left is kind of where we want to work at. All right. Top left, properly used. Tell me more. Yeah. So with properly used, what that is saying is, hey, look, I want to be used. Right. A lot of people say, oh, I don't want nobody using me. No, yeah, yeah. I want to be used because if I'm not used, then I'm useless. Right. Mm -hmm. But I want to be used properly. Right. Because okay. as you notice, you have like misuse, abuse, and then finally, you know, unused. But unused. I want to be used. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, when I look at the color scheme, abuse is red. So I would I would assume that stop. Or uh, misuse is orange. Sort of mean that's I would assume that's like, you know, caution. Warning, oh, yeah, caution, warning, yeah. caution. And then yellow is unused. And again, maybe you know slow down and reassess so help us more abuse that's red because i mean it's yeah so so typically when we're abused that means people got somewhat of an understanding of our strengths our skills our purpose right okay or you know our value mm -hmm. but still their intent is not good Right. Mm. And so they misuse us. Right. So that's why I had that one red as opposed to like caution yourself, because it's like you got an understanding of what you're doing. You're just doing the wrong thing. With malicious intentions. Exactly. Malicious intentions. And we see it every day as as leaders. We, we've seen it throughout our careers. You know, that's right. Um, unused. Tell me more about unused, please. Yeah. So unused is down at the bottom. Right. And that's typically like people don't 
know you or know about you or know of you or know your strengths and skills. And they also don't have a good intent or, you know, any type of motive to get to know you. Right. So you're typically left ignored and and eventually you can even become reduced. Right. Um, mm. But with unused, yeah, like I think like if we develop uh, our relationships and we get to know people more, we have a better use and a better purpose for them in the organization. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, man, I like that shirt. Shouts out to Freestyle Pro- Freestyle every day on the Facebook For sure. Group. The hurricane. Show love. Halliburton. Show love. Show love. What's good, everybody over there? Freestyle every day. Much love. I got to post this on that platform. Shouts out to all those guys. So, man, for sure. when is the book here? Is it dropping still or... Yeah, man. So, so the uh, we dropped already uncaging prolific leadership that came okay. out at a, around uh, March. It was supposed to drop in May, but it came out in March. Um, and you can find that anywhere: um, Walmart, Target, Amazon, uh, Barnes and Nobles. It's out there. Uncaging I'm, prolific I'm, leadership. I'm slipping. I gotta get mine. My bad. My bad, King. I'm my bad. Matter of fact, I'm don't even worry about it. Just send me your address, man. Say less. Say less. I want support. Sure. I want to support. Right. So let's take this. So let's take the let's take the diagram, right? And we got all three, we got all four quadrants. And let's put it in in use. Let's say, let's use the example of a fighter, right? Because you're a okay, boxing sure. trainer. You train, you train fighters while you're in your time in uh what is it, Panama? I was in Honduras, yeah. Honduras, yeah, Honduras. Yeah, coaching in Honduras, yeah. Honduras yeah. Co- coaching. You a young man. I don't know why you was coaching. You should have been in the ring. <laughs> but you was in the corner that's that, fine. Yo. come on For you're sure. a young man you're a young man look you got all your teeth still ain't no come on fam no 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 you should have been in that ring but tell that's us true. tell us let's, let's say let's use that and put it in a use the uh with the quadrants in the diagram and let's put it all into one for anybody out there that still don't get it yeah for sure yo so uh we were having a discussion earlier and we were talking about like you know knowledge and a lot of people like to say, oh, knowledge is power, knowledge is power. And we were talking about like, well, the, the acceptance of knowledge is power because knowledge can be chaotic. It can be confusion. It can start rumors and wars. And it's like a gun. You take a gun, you sit it on a dresser. It's useless. You have to pick it up. Same thing with knowledge. You take, I give you some knowledge right now. You sit it on the dresser. It's useless. But like a gun, it could be used for good or it could be used for bad. Just like teaching somebody boxing, right? You can yeah. go in there with a good intent, teach them all the ways of, uh, of boxing, tell them the consequences. You know, you could preach to them to death the importance of keeping it sacred and not disrespecting or dishonoring the, uh, the sport. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they could, they'll still walk out of your gym and do the wrong thing with it. So their relationship then is, you know, is flawed because they're abusing, you know, the power or, or the, uh, the skill that you've given. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, for me, as a, when I train, when I train young fighters, I would know automatically the guys who were going to use this for malicious intentions in the street, because what they would do is they would have a, a real big focus on offense. When anybody, right, right, that plan, right. anybody that plans to step in the ring, they're going to want to hear something about defense because no, nobody want to go in there and get hit. <laughs> Everybody want to win. Yeah. But don't nobody want to get hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's right. So they're That's willing right. to listen up on defense because they're like, oh, defense. Oh, oh. You know why? Oh, because they don't plan on defending at, at all. They plan on a, uh, being attack mode and probably, you know, hitting somebody from behind or hitting someone when they're not necessarily ready to fight. So for me, that was a good, a good uh, key indicator of knowing um, who was going to misuse the knowledge. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Um, Oh, because I'm coaching defense. They had they 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 didn't focus. They didn't pay attention because they they never had they had plans from the jump of having that information being unused. You That's know right. what I'm saying? That's right. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And they so, totally ignored it. Like I'm not even gonna pay attention to that because my like you say, yeah, my relationship what, with this is to take it and use it for wrong. What am I be on here moving my head for? How can I get right. power if I'm moving my head, coach? You said use yeah. my legs to get power. I need to use my legs, right? Like. Yeah, but you also gonna use your legs for defense. All right, all right, whatever, whatever it is, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Exactly. And I, you know, you knew from the jump everything they was gonna do, everything from the, from off the rip. Hey, so you all in Texas, equal opportunity advisor. For sure. How you like it? Yeah. Uh, so my family is here. Like when I say my family, I mean like my mom and my sisters, okay. <laughs> and my oldest brother is here. Big um, family. 
so that's cool. Yeah. But then my kids are on the East Coast or whatever you at. So oh, okay, okay, you know okay. I mean? yeah. So I'm trying to get back to the East Coast. Hey, you know they want you over there at the job. We ain't got, we ain't got to tell you. I'm sure you over there politicking. You over there networking. You already know what it is. Yeah, a few people called me. A few people called me, told me, you know what I mean, like what's up, what's up. But um, I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a position there for me. You know what I mean, like so I would, I would come there, you know, with with with, with no problems. I would come there, mm-hmm. um, but I don't think there's anything there for me at the moment. So I'll just, uh, I'll keep my ears to the streets and uh, continue doing what I'm doing, man. Trying to trying to make uh, good soldiers, great soldiers. I hear you. I hear you. So as an equal opportunity advisor. You know, you're familiar with today's political climate already. I am, yeah. A junior EOA comes to you and they ask you, hey, I'm having issues with people that represent the left and people that represent the right in the office. They're not necessarily clashing, but there's tension. Yeah. What what advice would you give them? With that one, man, that one can be easy, you know, because the reality is that we shouldn't be talking about politics in our profession in the, in the office anyway, right? So that, that's an easy one to squash, but um, I, was, I would say if the people talking about it are the leadership, you know, the commanders or whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, um, I'll help them understand like, you know, somebody's opinion can be looked at like clothing in a department store, right? You go in the department store, you pick up a shirt, you don't just take it and say, I don't like that and throw it to the ground and stump on it, right? You take it, you realize you don't like it, you put it back on the rack and you keep it moving. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And uh, we should see each other's opinions like that. And the more we test out clothing or the more department stores we're introduced to, the better our style becomes. Ooh, ooh, this comes yeah. from that. And you're a stylish dude too. I tried. I remember man, in the office, you know? you was not, you was a real stylish dude. You used to wear, yeah. oh, what color was that? I said, one day I came, I told, I, told, I think I said, you had, I think you had red pants. I call them red, but they were burgundy. Oh, you yeah, said, you said, yeah, brandy yeah burgundy wine. joints. No, you said they was brandy wine. That's what you said, yeah. you know? And I know coming from yeah. Valdosta, ain't nobody wear no brandy wine pants. Nah, they ain't doing it like that. I'm man. from the Bronx, yo. We don't wear brandy wine pants. That's not what we do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, but I probably picked that up from you, though. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, man, because you used to come in that shop, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, razor shop, like... Nah, it stays over. It stays over. Tony, t- you, you must took shirts. somebody. You took somebody girlfriend, shirts. didn't you? Mm-hmm. That's what happened. Don't nobody want me. Don't <laughs> nobody want me. <laughs> my shirts is not iron. I never iron my pants. You'd be lucky to catch me with socks on, B. I feel you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, pandemic over, yo. You know, we just down there, baby. But you never know when it's gonna go down. You know what I mean? For real, ain't no lotion coming. Ain't no lotion, none of that. <laughs> it said, uh, it I said, because I'm light skin. It said, because I'm light skin, my skin be matte. I don't be ashy. I'm matte. It says matte tan. That's what they call me. You sound like me. They they get on me all the time. Oh wow! I ain't even peep that. You put that. Sa- you put look, it all. Sanders, you put it, I ain't don't worry it about it. I'm gonna edit that out the video. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a new app. We got, I'm like, yeah, I've got the Adobe joint. We're gonna make that joint. Go cut that joint clean. right on that. We're okay, gonna make it fresh and clean. You're gonna be <laughs> hey, so I, my man, so I'm David Sand, your seniors. I want to thank you for pulling up today. I appreciate you here at Out4 TV. Thank you so much for your views and opinions. Give us all your socials and everything. Where to find your book at, man? Come on, we gotta promote this thing, get this thing off the ground. For sure, man. Hey, look, and I appreciate you for having me on here, my boy Bill from the BX. You know what hey. I'm saying? Bring it out, Bronx, you feel me? You know the vibes. I appreciate, man. I appreciate having me on here. Yeah, man, but you can find me anywhere, almost anywhere. I don't do the TikTok thing yet. I'm, tra- I'm trying Thank to you. ease my man. way in there. No, you're a grown man. There. Leave that alone. Leave that from the kids, right. man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but no, yeah. yeah, you can catch us on uh, on uh, Instagram. We have Leading with Excellence on Instagram. I'm also, I got my personal page on there, post signature. Then we're Leading with Excellence on Facebook. We also have the Vision uh, Facebook group. My little man, Two Seconds with Josiah. You can catch him also on Facebook as well as Two Seconds with Josiah on TikTok. Well, okay. I'm on Snapchat. Just me. You probably not gonna find me on Snapchat, but post it. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, shouts out to you again, and I thank you for pulling up. It's been Op4 TV. Happy Veterans Day to everybody out there. Salute. <laughs>